You see it's right there. It's pretty nice, it blends in. It doesn't look like super homemade or ganky. Uh, and also, it knocked down about 10 to 15 dB off our front row. Our front row is our biggest problem. It's the closest to the drums. And so we have to mix everything super loud. We were getting up to like 95, maybe 97 dB uh, in our services. And it's like people were complaining. So we could do nothing other than control the drums. So this did effectively uh, knock off about 10 dB and all of the high transient, all the stuff that makes, that makes people's ears hurt were muffled now and we can actually mix them through the sound system. So this was a very good success and part of it is that it is fully enclosed. It has a top, it has some back baffling and the sides are kind of open but I also put some little baffles on the sides. I'll show, that, show you that in this video. Okay, so on the top I used a pink construction foam. These are four by eight sheets, really thick construction foam. Like I said, all the links will be in the description. We used basically just a clear sonic drum shield. I think there's one, two, three, four, five panel drum shield. And then uh, on the back, we have this basic, uh, you know, two by four uh, thing with, a, with like a sound panel. Now in our church, we have these big sound panels basically placed all up and down. And this is just one of those sound panels uh, diagonally placed on the back. And so I then just have it resting from the top of that back uh, little structure that we built all the way up here. It's resting just at the very top of the clear sonic. We put this together just so it would be. We cut this off, making it like the right shape. And you'll see how I built all of this. And then uh, inside, we just use on the other side, on the left side, we just have, uh, it gets really quiet in here, just a moving blanket on a music stand. And on the left side out there, there's some more uh, just of that sound baffling. So you can kind of walk in here. It's not fully, fully enclosed. Like you can see, there's a little door there. We are getting a little bit of spill coming out of this left side, but the right side is up against the wall. So we're in a long, concreted floor sort of, um, what do you want to call this? Like it's a, basically a big uh, warehouse, okay? So you got these big metal doors that they're going to cover up. Uh, but we just kind of baffled the left side, or the left the drummer's left side. The back is baffled, the top is covered. If you don't cover the drums, all the sound goes, hits the back wall or whatever. It doesn't even have to hit the back wall, it just comes right over top and out. So you really, this was, um, let me show you the inside too. We put um, just basically, that's, yellow, that's orange construction foam, and we use some studio foam right on the, right on the ceiling. And, uh, you know, so if you're just looking from stage, from out on the, uh, it looks really, really good. It's just, uh, it doesn't even really, you can't even really see it from back here, you know? But it muffles down really well. And then inside we have a rug. We have the drums on a rug, and that's exactly how we did that. We're gonna show you each level how loud it is with just a regular clear sonic uh, pack and then we're gonna change it up. We got Michael on the drums. Just got a basic clear sonic drum cage right now. Here's what it looks like. Good drummer, I didn't know that. All right, he's the piano player. The piano player's bringing it on the drums. Yeah, yeah he's, he's hitting him pretty good. This, this right here is where like the lead vocals would be standing. We were at, like 90, 92, 94, yeah. like standing here. It's not too bad, no, but I mean, he, he's hitting them like average. Uh, He's hitting them pretty average. So we're gonna build this top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a back and we're gonna put a top on, but you'll see that. You'll see that as we get going. All right, we added the next piece, which was our back wall. And it's just, it is like a homemade studio absorption panel. Here's what it looks like.
that's not really changing much and here's the pro here's the reason is because everything's just going up top going up in the ceiling i mean that's 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 the problem that's what these clear sonics do they sell these things with these you know what i mean yeah, they ain't doing anything they, they, looks. they didn't do anything they, they maybe maybe they protect one person on stage but uh so here's what we're gonna do the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it awesome cheapo style Woo! <laughs> all right so this is what we're gonna do. check this out so i got 22 bucks a sheet this is like two inch one or two inch uh r75 1.5 thick uh from lowe's we're gonna put these on top and uh once we get them on top then we're gonna lay line them with studio foam underneath and we're gonna see what that does i think that's gonna cut down a huge amount all right now keep in mind this looks kind of like a hillbilly drum shack no offense to you hillbillies out there this is completely not painted. There's no studio foam underneath it yet. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna test it anyway with my little testimita to see if it works. So look, look at this thing. It's hilarious. It's hillbilly drum shack it out. Hillbilly. All right, so we cut our construction foam just to match the underneath angles, and then we glued all of our studio foam to it. So that was awesome. Used a little foam cutter from Amazon, 20 bucks. Just marked it up with a ruler, cut it around the edges, and it looks pretty good now. Here's what I've been doing all night. I've been recording and metering every every step so We've uh, we've we've knocked uh, ten we've knocked ten dB off within five feet. I mean it was about ninety now it's about seventy five or eighty. Yeah, and down there, right there, it's like seventy five. It's definitely loud in there. Yeah. All right, go back and listen. Was that playing with the hard sticks? Yeah, those were sticks. I think we might have done it. I think we might have done oh. it, folks. All right, I'm going in here. All right, so I'm in the new drum booth right now, and uh, we got this foam on the ceiling. We got. Uh, we have knocked about 10 to 20 dB middle of our sanctuary. So about 15, 20 feet, 25 feet from us, we have lowered this dB by about 20. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, noticeable. We're also going to have to close off a little bit on the sides here, maybe close off one more panel on the side here. And, and that's what I'm thinking, uh, just a little bit more enclosed, but uh, this basically, um, is knocking down 10 dB on the stage at least, and 20 dB, uh, it seems like, in the middle of the room. We're, we're at maybe like 80, and I mean, I'm pounding on the drums, like Metallica style, and they're about 80 in the middle of the room. So this is, this is working, okay? But you have to cover the top, that's kind of the key. You have to cover the top and really cover every hole that you can. And we have this semi-open booth because we have an opening here right there on that side we have a little bit of an opening like a four foot gap and then underneath my back wall i have a gap too so it's not it's not going all the way to the floor um but i think it's pretty good putting the finishing touches on the panels it's black paint so uh, this is what I'm using for the top foam, and then I'm painting it black, but this check this out Just a little flat black so underneath we finish these with these uh, 
panels. Underneath it's foam panels and on top it's black paint. Just a simple black paint. When you paint this stuff, if you do, if you're crazy enough to follow my instructions, then get water-based acrylic paint. That's the only paint. If you spray paint these, I guess they melt. So this is it. This is what it's going to look like. This is the paint I use right here, Valspar Signature. All right, stuff painted in like 10 minutes, rolled it out, and it's finished. All right, so before I put this all back together, I want to uh, show you guys the bottom. Now we just glued this RLX foam. I gotta glue a few more here, and then we flip that up, we put it right on top, and uh, so we'll put that right on top and it really knocks it out. So here's kind of a finish, you'll see it tomorrow. Uh, morning, I'll show you a shot of it tomorrow. Sounds amazing, dude. Dude, it sounds really good. All right, so Caleb, what do you what do you think about your new house? I love it. You like I'm the house? Gonna, put a bed back here. Does it feel Does it feel quiet? It feels quiet in here, does it? Yeah. You want to be on? You want to be on TV? The drums sounded better than they normally do. They did. More control. Yeah. What was that? Who's that guy playing the drums? I don't know, but he's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. You think? Uh, do you think the drum cage looks uh, hokey? Well, right now it looks a little redneck. Yeah, it's a little redneck. Wait, are y'all doing something else to it? Do you want us to? No, I'm just wondering. She said my drum booth looks rednecky. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs>